We are here in Madrid, Spain, attending the OSS BSS Summit 2023 by Ericsson, hosted by Telefonica. And we are here with you. We are very happy of uh, uh, the presentation that you conducted was very impressive. But before we go through the question, tell us about yourself, please. Yes, sure. Thank you. My name is Rajvinder Singh, and I'm Strategic Product Manager for EA in uh, OSS BSS product line. Uh, my mandate is to bring artificial intelligence into OSS BSS products, services, and solutions. Uh, you talk about the 5G challenges that AI ML can solve, and but what are the primary obstacles that are stopping or are on the way to widespread the adopting AI ML technologies? Yeah, that's a very good question. I see three main challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, first one is that, uh, you know, vendors and telcos, they have to uh, approach AI ML very different from the traditional coding. Uh, it's not only code, it's data plus code. So that essentially means we have to have a fail fast mindset. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second main point is that data, you know, because it's code plus data. So it's very important uh, that telcos they have a data strategy in place. Uh, you know, they should store their data and they should aggregate their data in a way that AAML can use them for the model training. That's number two. Number three is a lot of times, you know, we expect data scientists to do the magic, mm -hmm. but uh, data scientists, if uh, left alone, they can't do anything, right? So uh, data scientists plus SMEs, be it operations or optimization or monetization or orchestration SMEs, they need to sit together with the, mm -hmm. with the data scientists to have a solution which is usable by the enterprise. So Gen AI has become a buzzword in the AI industry. Uh, could you elaborate on some of the use cases for telcos? Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you. Um, so Gen AI, mm -hmm. uh, one of the main use cases uh, as per analyst is the virtual assistants that telcos mm -hmm. they use. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Actually, Gen AI also touches AI ops, so use of artificial intelligence uh, in operations, be it network operations or IT operations, that's another use case. The third one, which is very interesting and we are working a lot on that, uh, is uh, chat with your data. So traditionally, the experts, they used to write uh, very complex SQL queries or reports or create dashboards to see what's happening in the network. Right? So, mm -hmm. Gen AI is changing that. So, you can see a demo as well, um, where, you know, um, anybody who wants to chat with the data on the CSP side, uh, they can chat with the data and ask the questions like, what's the health of my network, right? Mm -hmm. How many users uh, are using Netflix? Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> so, those type of use cases are important. And the last one is intent translation, as it touched, right? Mm -hmm. So, NLP into something which machine can understand, and revert back in natural language. Those are some of the use cases for Gen AI. I think we have a lot of insights today. We have a lot of insights in your presentation and now with this conversation, and we're very grateful for your time. Thank you very much and very nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs>